In December 1999, Prime Point Foundation was started with the objective of creating awareness about communication among the corporate management professionals and students specializing in communication. For the past over a decade since then, the foundation has been spreading awareness not only about communication, but also about several significant social issues. In July 2000 itself, even before this concept of the internet gained recognition in the common lives in India, the foundation organized a seminar for the media as well as for corporate professionals. And the theme of the seminar was the role that internet media would play. At that time, many in the media and outside did not anticipate that internet media would grow to the extent that it has today. In early 2000, there were very few printed magazines on communication and management to cater to corporate professionals and students. Most of the foreign magazines were too expensive for the Indian market. Against this background, in the year 2002, the foundation decided to launch an online newsletter to update the professionals and the students on communication and management related news and knowledge. The first online newsletter, named PR Point Newsletter, was published in March 2002. It contained an exclusive interview with Mr. Frank M. Shidiak, an American communication professional from Hong Kong. He spoke on the subject, Business to Business Public Relations or B2B PR. Within the following trimester, the foundation published eight editions of the newsletter covering varied themes with interviews. The interviews for these editions were arranged through email correspondence. The newsletters were distributed online through autoresponders. During this experimental period of the online newsletter, the editions contained articles on themes which were not quite contemporary but of visionary nature. For example, the newsletter covered an article about the emergence of blogs when blogs were not popular at that time. Hence, PR Point newsletter failed to sustain the interest of many readers as it did not cover contemporary themes and technology. The newsletter was discontinued after eight issues. Learning from the shortcomings, the foundation decided to relaunch the e-zine with the focus on contemporary themes which most of the readers could understand and relate to. In February 2006, deliberations on the action plan for relaunch were held with select young and emerging communication professionals. The team decided to relaunch the e-sign under the name PR eSense. In the new format, a contemporary topic of interest to professionals and students was the highlight of the e-sign every month. The e-sign used a simpler technology than that used earlier and its file size of less than 500 kilobytes in PDF format found easier upload and e-delivery. It was an uphill task to find a suitable and willing interviewee to feature in the first edition of the relaunched e -Zine. Nobody was interested in giving an interview for the little recognized e struggling in its nascent stage. The editorial team confided about this challenge to Dr. Y.S. Rajan the then Principal Advisor to Confederation of Indian Industry or CII and co-author with Dr. Abdul Kalam of the book India 2020. Dr. Rajan readily consented to give an interview. Mr. B. Suresh Kamad, the then Chairman of the company Laser Soft Infosystems Limited, followed suit. Within a fortnight of the deliberations, the first edition of the e-sign PR e -Sense, was launched online on the 6th of March 2006 by Dr. Y. S. Rajan. This marked the beginning of the revived and renewed journey of PR eSense. 75 issues of PR eSense featuring thematic subjects have been published till the current month of June 2013. The editions are released on the first of every month consistently. Based on the feedback, the editorial team continues to improve upon the quality of the e to cater to the net-savvy audience of readers. Today, 
PR Incense is recognized as a pioneer in the e-sign world for its high standards in its contents as well as for its reach and usability. The concept of podcasts emerged in early 2006. Against this backdrop, the editorial team of PR eSense introduced the concept of interviews in audio and video podcasts in the eZine. From its August 2006 edition onwards, the eZine published the text of interviews with links to the corresponding podcasts for the audio as well as video recordings of the interviews. The editorial team introduced guest editors from its August 2007 edition onwards. PR eSense has had the privilege of being guest edited by several eminent personalities like Mr. T.S. Krishnamurti, Mr. N. Vittal, Dr. Y.S. Rajan, as well as presidents of international organizations like Institute of Public Relations of Singapore, Public Relations Society of America, International Association of Business Communicators America, Chartered Institute of Public Relations London, and Public Relations Institute of South Africa. Young professionals and students were also given the opportunity to guest edit the e to give them the experience of writing and editing for the electronic medium. In February 2008, with PR eSense completing two years in its revived form, it underwent another reform with a change in its masthead and the layout to make it appear savvier to the readers. PR eSense had the privilege and honor of carrying an exclusive interview with Dr. Abdul Kalam, former President of India, in its second anniversary issue. The second anniversary issue was released by Mr. N. Vittal, former Central Vigilance Commissioner of India. The association of these eminent personalities with the eZine enhanced its prevailing credibility among the readers. PR eSense continued to win increasing recognition among the literary and corporate readers and in April 2008, several international organizations approached the editorial team for the association of PR eSense as media partner in global events. Normally, only print and television media are preferred by international organizations for media partnership. For the first time in the world, an eZine, namely PR eSense, became the media partner for the international conferences organized by Chartered Institute of Public Relations at London in UK and by Public Relations Society of America at Detroit in USA. Thereafter, the eZine was invited to be the media partner for several other international conferences held in different countries. On Dr. Abdul Kalam's suggestion, PR eSense introduced cartoons in its July 2008 edition. Mr. Triambak Sharma, a noted cartoonist and editor of Cartoon Watch, a cartoon magazine at Raipur, created a new cartoon character, Prince. Prince was launched in PR eSense by Dr. Abdul Kalam himself at Raj Bhavan, Chennai. PR eSense regularly featured Prince cartoons in its monthly editions, highlighting topical themes. PR eSense has published 55 Prince cartoons till the current month of June 2013. In April 2010, the Wall Street Journal reproduced one of the Prince cartoons with the permission of the editor. This gesture attests the popularity of the eZine at the global level. The layout of PR eSense changed again in September 2008 with the introduction of the photograph of the guest editor on the cover page. This gesture proved to be an incentive for many budding professionals who volunteered to be guest editors for PR eSense. Some of the absorbing topics covered in PR eSense include business communication, corporate governance, corporate arrogance, corporate idiosyncrasies, internal communication, educational loan, social media and media relations. These topics aroused the curiosity and interest among many of its readers. PR eSense has won several awards accrediting the high quality of its contents and its popularity among its readers. It has won awards from Global Forum for Public Relations, Public Relations Council of India 
and Association of Business Communicators of India. In March 2010, PRE SEN set up Educational Loan Task Force, ELTF, jointly with India Vision Group to guide students about educational loan and to support the case of deserving students aggrieved about educational loan issues. Thousands of students across the country have benefited from this social initiative. Coinciding with the commemoration of the Golden Jubilee of PRE SENS in May 2010, Prime Point Foundation and PRE SENS instituted the Sansat Ratna Awards to honor top performing Lok Sabha members of parliament. The 50th edition of PRE SENS was launched at the awards function by Mr. T. S. Krishnamurti and Mr. N. Gopalaswamy, former Chief Election Commissioners of India. A compact disc or CD containing the past 50 editions of the e-zine along with Prince cartoons and connected podcasts was also released. In February 2011, the Diamond Jubilee edition of the e-zine with its theme on Achievers was released. In that edition, PRE Sense carried an exclusive podcast interview on the theme Perseverance with Dr. Subramaniam Swami, an eminent statesman and personality. In a lighter vein, the cartoon character Prince, who had till then been enjoying the company of girlfriends, married his cartoon companion Princess in this edition. With the Diamond Jubilee edition, PRE Sense completed five years of its uninterrupted journey. Soon thereafter, the editorial team deliberated over the challenges of sustaining the quality of the e-zine within the format of its contents, especially the themes, which had to be unique and varied to cater to an audience that was niche. At this stage, the editorial team decided on a hiatus for the e-zine to take time to plan a revised format that would cater to a larger and more diverse audience. The editorial team resumed the e-zine in April 2012 with the 61st edition coinciding with the Sansad Ratna Awards 2012 to the top performing MPs. The tagline, Communicate the Communication, used in the first 60 editions of the e-zine, was changed to Spreading Positive Vibrations. Though the masthead continued to be the same, the name of the e-zine was changed from PRE Sense to Pre Sense. The format of the contents of the e-zine changed in its 62nd edition and it continues to be the same till date. Pre Sense carries a format containing such features as cover story on the man of the month, an historical event coinciding with the month of release, ancient Indian wisdom, a controversy of the month based on a topical controversy, story of an unsung hero under ignited minds, a social issue, Prince cartoon highlighting a contemporary issue, and interesting information from the archives of earlier editions of Pre-Sense. The new format has interested a larger audience of readers. The contents cater to readers of different age groups and professions. Presence is widely shared through emails and the social media. In April 2013, the 73rd edition of Presence, with a special feature on the Indian Parliament, was launched by the Tamil Nadu Governor, Dr. Rosaya. The event coincided with the presentation of the Sansa Ratna Awards 2013. The Platinum Jubilee, hallmarking the 75th edition of Presence, is another milestone in the journey of the e-zine. This edition is dedicated to the Indian youth. In order to impress upon the nation the need for empowering youth, this edition is being launched by the youth at various centers on the 23rd of June 2013. Incidentally, all the earlier editions of pre are available on the website www.corpezine.com that is www.corpezine.com The journey of the e-zine presents continues spreading positive vibrations among the readers and supporting the silent achievers.
जय हिंद